We live in a beautiful place. And this place is inhabited by many people and animals. We also share this world with many germs, many of which are too small to be seen with the naked eye. While many of these germs do not cause any disease, some can be harmful and can cause diseases. Humans and animals can get infected with these germs in many ways. They can be in the water that we drink, or in the water we use to wash and clean, like in the slaughterhouse. They can also be in the food we eat, or in some of our animals. When these bad germs enter our body, they make us feel sick. Luckily, we have medicines that can fight off these germs and make us feel better. We have different medicines for different germs. Some diseases are caused by bacterial germs and these can be treated using antibiotics such as amoxicillin or tetracycline. Other diseases are caused by different types of germs and for these we take other medicines such as antimalarials for malaria such as AL or paracetamol for headaches. However, over time, the bacterial germs have become stronger and some of them are now resistant to these antibiotic drugs and therefore people remain sick and may even die because the drugs no longer work. Bacterial germs become drug resistant when we do not complete all the medicine we were told to take as they get used to the drug. Or if we take medicines that were not prescribed to us by a doctor, as these might not be the right ones for the bacterial germs we have, or they may have even expired. Always check the expiry date. Even the medicines we use in our animals may contribute to resistance if they are used incorrectly or given in low doses for no illness. Also, when giving antibiotics to our animals, it is very important to always seek advice on the time to wait before it is safe to drink the milk or eat the meat. While drug resistance is already happening, there are steps we can take to reduce this. Firstly, we should always consult a medical doctor before taking any antibiotics. If the doctor prescribes antibiotics, we should buy them from an authorized chemist or pharmacy and we should take the full dose as the doctor prescribed, even if we start to feel a lot better before having finished the full dose. If any medicines are left over or have expired, we should take them back to the chemist or agrovet where they can be disposed of properly. If not, these may end up in the water we drink or in the soil where our vegetables grow. We can reduce transmission of bacterial germs by washing our hands with soap and clean water for 30 seconds when possible, especially before eating and after visiting the toilet. When washing our hands, it's important to clean inside the palms, between the fingers, and under the nails. It is also important to get ourselves and our animals vaccinated with all available vaccines to reduce the circulation of these bacterial germs. Antibiotics have saved many of us our parents, our grandparents, our spouses and children. And now it's time we saved them so they can continue to save lives.